I want to ask you a little bit about um, your outlook on how streaming has sort of changed the record industry. It's a big question. Right, absolutely. Yeah. By the time I can answer that for most of my students, I've already got them through eight units of classes at that <laughs> cost. So, <laughs> uh, so I, I would have to do it in a, in a condensed way for sure. Yeah, absolutely. To say that. Um, in a way, it's an inevitable thing about technological disruption. Right. Every business goes through a technological disruption kind of a thing, and we change and we don't look backwards. Fads, is, uh, you know, technologies are never a fad. Mm -hmm. uh, we're here now, and it's an ease of convenience and access and a price point situation that uh, causes solutions to what the first wave of technological disruption was like to right. say that the file is uncontained, where are we going with all of this? I can't sell the same record as I used to. Yeah. So there's an opportunity involved in it that I think is really great. Mm -hmm. uh, there's also some changes we need to go through about the values uh, part of things. What's the value of our product? What do we do? Most people saw the value equation about the old system of a physical product mm. as a manufacturing cost and maybe a distribution cost, like I have okay. to go to a store and I have to get a thing, and that, that sure. that's all gone and that's better. Um, and that this is so much easier to access so there would be something that's uh, gonna pay into this so much better. But it's not really a one-to-one -one how those dollars work, and that's been a struggle to right. a certain extent. And I think the outlook is the future is uh, generally bright. It should only improve. But there's definitely new suppliers that have a different mm -hmm. viewpoint on what it is we do and what our value sure. is. Some of them have come up through the MP3 as piracy era, and they're now the drivers uh, of those yep. kinds of things. And piracy kind of has this connotation of like, are you saying sharing or are you saying piracy? Which way are we talking <laughs> about this kind of thing? And there's so many different views on that. Um, but though all those viewpoints of how our culture looks at right. it affects the value question on, in a business. That's so it. it's really not just the, the distribution and the reproduction kind of cost of the goods yeah. that's really involved in it. It's also what most people don't see as a marketing cost. Or they see the opportunity with social media and seeing that this really shouldn't have to cost a whole lot of money to get available. Right. But if you check your top 25 most played in iTunes or your, your playlist in Spotify and so forth, whatever you enjoy mm -hmm. to use that, you'll find that that marketing cost is not one person doing it themselves. You know, right. that while one person can tweet and cause a massive difference, and there, that's not to be diminished, how Absolutely. the artist can have a direct voice and have, a, uh, and have an of impact. Course. It doesn't show the number of professionals that are still involved in that process. Mm -hmm. Just like we're doing here, this is broom is full of professionals right now. You know, <laughs> hey, our, our, bu our budding professionals, if they're not there yet, we're all working towards something and there's room yeah, to absolutely. cost something to do, th you know, to deliver something. So that manager, that producer, those engineers that you want to work with, who are those side artists you want to, if chain smokers want to work with Halsey, she's not free, if, uh, mm -hmm. you know, kind of thing. Or sure. she could be, but she, if everybody works for free, it's not a profession, it's a hobby. Of course. So I, I'd like for, one, for my first half, I'm always focused on that profession. I care about that. When you relate that to streaming, to start at a dollar that is ad-based and may not get the same views as, you know, uh, Drake has got uh, so many views that he's the <laughs> highest viewed right. and they was, uh, right. just read an article that he should have made about $50 million. I don't believe that he's actually made $50 million. And okay. that's the highest level of streaming. So we haven't worked out the, the value question, I think. Subscribers okay. is where it's at. If you want a short answer, right. the holy grail is everybody moving to subscriptions and not everybody wants to. Right. So, you know, whether it's college students at five bucks a month and 10 bucks a month is, uh, seems to be a going price for most of the other services. Sure. If we could get to the point that we have about three to four times the number of subscribers as we have right mm -hmm. now, like then, then, then we're into a Netflix, Amazon Prime type world and everything changes in a dramatic way. But the free ad-based uh, work works really well when you're starting off. And right. it is your own costs, right. and it's your own creation. It's from your laptop in your bedroom or something a little better than that, you know, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and your friends are helping you out. And then right. you use social media to your advantage. That is a good thing. That is an awesome part of where I can get from there to SoundCloud for free and easy, or I can go through a few digital distributors, and I can be at iTunes and Spotify right. and Apple Music where everybody else is. Right. But the next layer of I want to work with professionals to make that high-quality professional product that matches what's in everybody else's top mm -hmm. 25 most played. Right. That's um, and the marketing cost you said to get to reach that platform. Yes, yeah. that's Absolutely. what it overwhelming it is. And that's before and after the digital era. It's always been marketing is the biggest expense. How do right. you? I don't want to get above the noise floor. How do I let right. people know that what I do is special and sure. that you should be paying attention to this? And that is um, getting on the Jimmy Fallon show and having the you know, or uh, and the, yeah. you know the guy with the karaoke with the cars and those kinds of things. Uh -huh. How do those relationships happen? How do I get there? You know, it's right. not just tweeting something that I get there. Exactly. You know? um,